post office continues to be the center of a growing political storm. The question is, can it deliver as the coronavirus is expected to prompt millions to vote by mail in the November election? CBS 2's Tom Hansen reports. The U.S. Postal Service is a fundamental part of our democracy, and it's not a service that should be taken away. Protesters turned up outside the Washington, D.C. home of U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy this weekend, some calling for him to step down. On Saturday, President Trump was asked if his recently handpicked Postmaster General is hampering the service to discourage mail-in voting. No, not at all. The steps that he's taking are trying to stop the tremendous losses that have taken place for many, many years. He's trying to streamline the post office and make it great again, okay? DeJoy has said he overhauled the post office to fix its dire financial situation, but its internal watchdog is investigating. Democrats accuse the Trump campaign donor of working with the president to undermine mail-in voting with moves like eliminating overtime. The problem with the mail-in voting, number one, you're never going to know when the election's over. President Trump insists mail-in ballots are vulnerable to fraud, which research has shown to be rare. CBS News has learned the Postal Service sent letters to all 50 states and the District of Columbia warning their deadlines for accepting mail-in ballots may result in thousands not being counted. This is more about states trying to recreate how they get their, their ballots and they do, they're trying to do it on a compressed timeline that just won't work. Democrats want DeJoy and the chairman of the Postal Service Board of Governors to testify on Capitol Hill. And if Mr. DeJoy refuses to appear, he should be stamped return to sender. As election day draws closer, CBS News has confirmed House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other Democratic leaders are considering an early return from August recess to address the Postal Service crisis. Tom Hanson, CBS News.